Hey everybody, Nicholas Frank, Fit Body Bootcamp Dublin, story time edition. You're probably wondering why in the world is he making a video of a little book called Little Engine That Could. Well, it's because sometimes there's this very, very bad word that gets talked about at Fit Body Bootcamp Dublin. And we're going to learn how to not say that very, very, very bad word by reading the story. You've probably read to someone or have been read to. Let's pick up at the beginning. Little engine that could. Noises, noises, noises. The train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. Just make sure you can see it. Her cars were filled with toys and animals and other stuff. There were dolls and little toy clowns. But that was not all. Some cars were filled with milk and some vegetables and unhealthy treats. So these don't need to go over the mountain. That's fine. Little train was carrying all these wonderful things over the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then all of a sudden she stopped. She simply could not go another inch. Her wheels would not turn. Oh. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the little clown who jumped out of the train. Please, shiny new engine, won't you pull our train over the mountain? Our engine's broken down. Will you help us? But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you. I am a passenger engine. My train has sleeping cars and a dining car with waiters. I put the likes of you, <laughs> indeed not. And off he steamed to the roundhouse where engines live when they are not busy. The little clown called out, look, a great big strong engine coming. So the clown went over. Please, big engine, called the toys and doll. Uh, won't you pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down, and we want to get the unhealthy snacks to the kids over the mountain as well as the vegetables. But the big strong engine bellowed, I am a freight engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with heavy machines. I am a very important engine indeed. I will not pull the likes of you. And the freight engine puffed off indignantly to the art house. Little train and the dolls were sad. Don't worry, there's another train coming. Here's another one. He's old and tired, but that's okay. Let's ask him if he'll do it. We're about to find out. Please, kind engine, cried all the coys and dolls. Won't you pull our train over the mountain? Our engine's broken down, but the rusty old engine sighed, I'm so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. That was a hint to the word that we shouldn't be saying in here. Then indeed, the little train was very tired, very sad, and the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little toy clown called out, here's another engine coming, a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she'll help us. They cried, but the trainer came over and said, What's the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine's broken down. Please, please help us. Little, tiny, itty-bitty blue engine. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I've never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake. We have to get them their unhealthy candy and green vegetables. That's what it says. Then she said, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And she hissed herself to the little train. She tugged and pulled and tugged and pulled slowly and slowly. The toy clown jumped aboard and all the toys and dolls began to smile and cheer. <gasps> puff, puff, chug, chug. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Up and up, faster and faster. The little engine went over the mountain. <gasps> Hooray! cried the funny little clown and all the toys and dolls. They will get to eat their unhealthy snacks and green vegetables. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say, as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could. I thought I could. I thought I could. Credits. Uh, moral of that story, if you don't know it, if you come in here, no matter what you're doing in life, and you say, I can't, I can't, I can't, you won't. If you come in here and you say, I can do the workout, I can do this confusing exercise, I can lose the weight I want to lose, I can lose the body fat, I can tone my muscle, whatever it is. If you think you can, as it says in here, then you knew you could. Nicholas Frank, Fit Body Boot Camp. Stay positive, everybody.